Right, what I'm going to do, because this is a massive graveyard, I reckon I'm going to have to come back. I've only just done a small section. This bit here, this bit up there, and the bit that was in that hollow. There's loads over there. It goes all the way as far as the eye can see and further. Um, I feel this is the really old part. So I need to get in amongst them more. But what I'm going to do for this walk, Sara, uh, this part of the visit to the cemetery, because I'm going to have to come back again. I found loads and loads of names. Um, house, Beckins, I haven't found any Hodges. They are mysterious. I reckon they'll be over near Ormiskew, or whatever you call it. Um, <sighs> but I'm, I think I'm going to have to come back because I should have come here for the going to take a day to do the cemetery. It's a bit like Manor Park. It's big. And um, I think I'm going to have to come back. So what I'm doing, I'm just going to do a walk round. There's different sections. There's Roman Catholic, there's dissenters. And if I come across any on the walk round, I'll um, stop and do a picture. They're a bit scanty here, but I should imagine there were more. Of course, the, the, the newer part is down the bottom, you can tell. Ours will be the ones that we're looking for in the past all over here. But I'm, I want to do a scan. I want to know exactly how big this place is. I don't want to go away when they're going to shut the doors and I haven't been all around, you see. Well, there's a Critchley there. See, this is how easy it is to walk past something. It, the Critchley is just a name that is common to your tree and uh, it doesn't mean they're related but they could have a common ancestor with you because we've got um, Ellen Critchley. She died in 1987, age 80, and Richard Critchley. He died in 1987 as well, a month later, um, age 81. And Critchleys are close in your tree. And they're from this area. So that's what I mean. So I am doing, and a lot of the live ones, well, not live ones, you know what I mean. The ones that died not long ago, they will be related. I've even found some Astleys now. I think this um, particular graveyard is going to look at, I mean, look at it, it's so big. There's probably even toilet facilities here. It's massive. But the good thing about today is, it's like, I've been able to park near the school over the road, but you can bring your car in here, look. As long as you don't block up anywhere. Because mine's so big, I don't really like, there's not a lot of room. Um, there's not like a main area. It's very empty here, but I should imagine there were graves in this bit. In the past, but I keep coming across names. So this is just an idea, I'm doing it on the good camera. I did a lot on the old cameras this morning. See, people are parked up, but they're tending their graves, you see. They're tending their graves. I just want to have a scan around, just to get an idea of the size of the park. As it goes right over there, and there's, I can see huts and things over there. And the ones in London, they even have cafe and everything. It's so big up in London. They even have cafes. You can, and, and the men on the gate wear suits, smart suits. See, look how big it is. Probably goes up all up along the back there as well. See, it is big. I've seen lots and lots of people driving in here. Here's like a Polish area here, look. Quite a few Polish graves. Yet yeah, they didn't say that on the map. Yeah, it's a Polish section, definitely. Get an idea today. Like I say, I've already made a start. 
but I just want to see the extent and size. I mean, look at how far it is. Look, it's absolutely massive. Right, I'm going to turn off now, and I'll come back when I've done a bit more photos. Over and out for now.